Hi guys, welcome back to Performance Toyota. So today I was thinking why not go through the actual Toyota website and kind of build and price a vehicle uh, that's either one of your favorites or just something that you're looking for. All right, so coming on to the Toyota website, first thing you're gonna see is your all new reimagined 23 Prius that a lot of people, including myself, have been very excited about. So that's just gonna be your welcome page, uh, kind of going over, if you scroll down, just some incentives or anything that's kind of happening as of right now, any uh, articles, new 24 Tacoma, anything like that. Uh, this is actually a great place to be able to actually look at what's kind of happening, what's new, anything like that. Now to actually get into uh, the actual website, first thing is that you're gonna see is if you go onto the vehicles tab, you are gonna be able to see categories between your cars, electric, SUVs and minivans, anything like that. And then kind of just scroll down and you can see all of them right then and there. Uh, you can go through your packages, kind of explore more in a good summary of what they are. But just to kind of make things a little bit simple and go through everything, let's go to build and price. And from here, you are gonna, like I said, you're gonna see all your vehicle options. Now, my personal favorite so far would be the Camry. So let's go into one of those and see what, just press continue and go from there. So you can go um, and see all models, exceptional value, anything like that, kind of go and see which one you want. Uh, so if you go into build and price, so this one personally is the Camry SE. Now, if you go into that one, that's exactly which one you want. If you click and hold on the actual vehicle, you can turn it around 360 degrees and actually look at what the whole entire vehicle would look like. Now, if you go back and change Camry model, so build your own, this is where you're gonna be able to see your gas and your hybrid models. So up here, you're gonna be looking at the powertrain uh, I personally, I'm gonna look at the gas one. Uh, you can do either or. So you have your SE, your SE all wheel drive, your TRD V6 model, as well as your XSE all wheel drive model. And then if you do obviously the hybrids, then these ones will be highlighted as well for you to be able to build in price. So let's go, I personally love the XSE all wheel drive. So let's go into that one. So you just put build in price. Now, sorry, one thing I will actually want to be able to show you guys is when it comes to your vehicles, you are actually gonna be able to see your key features. So if you go into your key features, into any of the models, you can see the big differences between them. So kind of give you more of a summarization of what those are, just in case you don't wanna actually go through all the features, which you can do, just go to see all features and see which one would actually be more beneficial or more personable for you or favorable for you, sorry. Uh, but this is a good summarization of that. So if you go into, go back to build and price and then let it come up. Now this is gonna be your exterior. So you can go between any of the colors that you'd like. So it does come in the supersonic red, your celestial silver metallic with a black roof and your pre-dawn gray is actually a new color with your Camry, uh, the midnight black, and then the cavalry blue is another one that's actually new to your Camry XSE. The cavalry blue actually used to be only on the TRD model, so I'm actually really happy that they came out with this one as well. Uh, so then after that, go to windchill pearl, and then, so me personally, I'm just gonna do the cavalry blue, because blue is definitely my favorite color. <laughs> and that is what it would look like. So if you scroll down or press interior, so the interior tab is gonna show you exactly what your interior is gonna look like. So the color, what the fabric or sorry, uh, fabric or leather seats are gonna be. So this one comes in the sports leather. And you can see that it also comes with your panoramic sunroof. It'll actually show you if it comes with that or just a regular sunroof and kind of more of an outwards look of what the interior would look like as well. So if you're happy with that, 
then you just go to then your accessories. So being able to personalize your vehicle has always been a fun thing I love to do and I'm sure you guys will too. So when it comes to that, all your accessories are gonna be all over here. So just under the all, it gives you everything from your cargo liner to your paint protection film, your hood deflector, uh, anything to do with like even your door sill protectors, blackout badges. So I definitely would put that on because I think that looks sick. <laughs> and then anything like your rear bumper, um, side window deflectors, if you want to do that. So let's just add that just because. And then anything else. Now, if you want to go, so this is just on all your tabs. Now, these are the prices on the actual uh, Toyota Canada website. Obviously, when you're at your local dealer, um, they'll let you know what is available, what's not available, what's on back order, anything like that. So after that, you can just go to your summary. And from here, it's gonna show you exactly what you chose. Now, when it comes to this page, it does show you at the top, but you can either do weekly, what your rates are, your lease, and include HST. So if you include your taxes, that gives you that. Um, <clears throat> so you can do either lease, finance, or cash. So as a cash option, 47,600 for your Camry XSC all-wheel drive. Now, you do have the option that if you go, let's just say, to your finance, we'll go to the calculator up here, and this is where you're gonna have more of the options to be able to look at what you would like to do on your terms. So it'll give you a rough estimate on your rates, uh, your terms, if you wanna put a down payment, anything like that, monthly, bi-weekly, weekly if need be. Now I personally am a bi-weekly person, uh, and then just to kind of see, you know, 72 months or if you like to go 84 months, gives you that and your price. Now this is if for any reason you did end up already talking to a dealer and they gave you a different rate, you can, it does allow you to actually use that as well but let's just use Toyota rate for right now, and then a down payment. So if you wanna do like, let's just say five, and then kinda just let that load, and then we're looking at 288.74 bi-weekly. So that kinda gives you a rough estimate as to what exactly your payments will be, and then you also have the options if you have a trade-in, uh, so any vehicle that you think you're gonna be trading in, then you can also do that. If you own it, so if you're financing it, or if you just own it outright, it gives you that option, whatever your value is. Uh, if you're financing, put in the amount owed. Uh, now if you're leased, same thing. You just put in leasing and how much your value is and how much your bio or what you uh, are still owing at that time, depending on what's going on in your situation. Uh, after that, kind of just gives you that. Uh, now, the next thing would be now if you were choosing to lease. Now with leasing, you do have a couple more options. Uh, now again, let's go with our bi-weekly. And you can do 60 months. Again, when it comes to the rates, this is what our Toyota rate is as of right now. Of course, if you go into your local dealer, and kind of see what's going on. Sometimes websites aren't always updated, but at least this gives you a nice rough estimate. So same thing over here. Now, when it comes to your leasing, so your payment right now is over here. You do get uh, kilometers. So I personally drive a lot, so I'm just gonna go to 24,000. So if you do 24,000 kilometers, now that is per year. You can also do additional kilometers just in case of anything at all. And then from here, you can also do a down payment or a security deposit. Now, me personally, I will do a security deposit because with the security deposit, what it does, it actually helps you to buy down your rate at that point. So if the rate's a little high, then you can just do a 
5500 security deposit. It was at about 7.19 if I'm not mistaken. Now it's down to 6.19. And it was at like 280-ish, now it's at 272. So that definitely helps with your payments. And keep in mind too, when it comes to the security deposits, at the end of your lease, that is money that you do get back. So, which is always nice. So you're basically, uh, you're basically uh, letting Toyota borrow your money for that investment on your vehicle. And then you end up getting it back at the end of your lease to either go towards a new vehicle, go towards uh, if you really love your vehicle and you wanna buy it out, you can definitely do that, anything at that point. And then same thing, you can still do a trade-in uh, and same thing goes applies to your trade-in value. Um, but you can definitely have that option as well, whether you're leasing, financing, or cash. Now, that's kind of a rough estimate to be able to actually look at what your payments would be. Now, again, keep in mind, this is literally just a rough estimate. Always ask your local dealer and they'll be able to help you out a lot more. After that, you can go to your compare tab and it literally just gives you a comparison of what exactly looks like between either your leasing, your finance, uh, or your cash. I personally like to use this, especially with all my guests between your lease and finance. So then that way you can see which one's gonna be more for you, what's gonna be able to help you out, anything like that, or you know what makes more sense, I guess, to you. Uh, always include your HST in case of anything, because uh, that does include also your dealer fee and anything like that. So if you go to the X there, and then you kind of just already have that. And after that, you can get a dealer quote, apply for credit, anything at that point. Uh, if you end up doing that, it'll literally just send a link to us or to a local dealer near you. I believe you just put in your postal code and you'll be able to get a reply um, as soon as they're able to. Now, after this, that gives you a rough estimate as to what exactly is gonna be able to do as your vehicle right then and there. You do also have suggestions to be able to also do um, your warranties or protection plans. So this one also gives you your extra care protection, your tire and rim, anything like that, uh, your wear pass if you're on leasing only. So it does give you that. And then your pricing details in general is also nice on the bottom. So it does give you more in detail of what each thing costs, like all your accessories, freight and delivery, air conditioning charge, everything is on here. So right at the bottom, it literally tells you everything. And then it gives you more of that information as well. So your leasing, your financing, and your cash and then if any of these do look great then you do your amounts due on delivery so then you have an, an also an idea on the day that you pick up your vehicle and you have that and then again just kind of it gives you more of that summarization see if you actually like anything if you want to either add or remove anything you can also do that um, again search protection plans i personally always want to make sure that my vehicle looks pristine for as long as I have it. So honestly, always asking, see what kind of warranties that are there uh, that are specific for your vehicle. And then if you do end up doing that, so you just click that off and it just kind of adds it at the bottom. And that is basically your Toyota website. Um, very, honestly, very friendly, very user friendly, very simple, not too many buttons, anything like that. So it does give you a nice overall summarization of at least, like I said, an estimate of what you would look like. But at the end of the day, always call your local dealer. We're always here to help, you know, in case you have any other questions, test drives, numbers, anything like that, that we can definitely help you out with. Trade in values is another one that's great. Uh, we always want to be able to make sure you guys have the most accurate numbers possible. Um, so yeah, hopefully that kind of helps with the website a little bit. If I miss anything or if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I would love to be able to answer them.